Hello and welcome to Critical Praxis week number four. Benny here. This week's topic is set by me and I am asking the contributors this week, what role does critical thinking play in new media? As consumers, as creators, as educators, interpret the topic as you see fit. I also suggested that the contributors this week check out an article entitled Occupy the Digital, Critical uh, Pedagogy and New Media by Pete Rorabaugh. Now, the link to this article is down below. The name of the journal is Hybrid Pedagogy, and I certainly uh, urge each of you out there to check that journal out, if not just for pure curiosity, also as a, an alternative space to publish work and to engage in work about digital pedagogy, new media, uh, different ways of challenging and smashing the binary between the inside and outside of the academy, which certainly this channel speaks into. And this becomes the impetus for my response this week, uh, kind of talking about what critical practice is, what I think it should be, and what I would like to see it become. At this point, of course, the channel is still in its infancy, and I'm open to all sorts of perspectives and ideas, uh, as, as it may be. Now, I kind of have these four goals that I've been kind of framing, changing, working with currently for the channel, uh, and they're kind of simple, and I want to elaborate on them a little bit because I think it speaks into this topic. And then I'm going to end also with a link to another video that talks about the production of racism in media as an example of being a critical consumer or uh, a critical uh, component or part of culture itself. The first of the goals is certainly going to be connected, as you will see, to the second goal. And the first goal is to show others our work. And so part of this component is actually trying to uh, break down some of the disciplinary walls that we have set up between one another. And of course, we are currently in this uh, kind of phase of interdisciplinary work, or there are charges for interdisciplinary work, but most of us have no idea what that looks like. And I think part of this is trying to take this work around a central topic, show it to other people who may have similar discussions from a different perspective, and what it would look like to bring all of these ideas together. And so, uh, while a lot of these weeks are kind of confined to my department of speech communication or speech communicators or scholars around speech communication, we certainly are able to get at certain topics from a variety of different perspectives throughout a week, and that is definitely the goal. Uh, as the channel continues to kind of develop and grow, I'm really looking to bridge outside of uh, SIU, uh, Southern Illinois University, and to ask other people to also to continue these dialogues from other uh, perspectives. And in the coming weeks, you'll see faces that are not part of SIU that I've invited that have agreed, at least as of right now, to contribute to some of these discussions uh, in various different ways. So that's one part, is literally showing other people the work that we're doing within the academy and around the academy and in different departments, uh, universities, programs, what have you. Now the second point is uh, working to kind of break down, challenge, or push back against uh, this binary of in the academy, out of the academy and really try to take our work in ways that, that people that are not in the academy can feel are practical to their lives. And this would be certainly the pedagogical component of what this channel is trying to achieve. So one thing that, that I can't stand is the idea that somehow outside of the academy is the quote real world, and that somehow inside of the academy we're not living in the real world. And I think that this channel is really trying to work to show that what we do in the academy has a direct impact outside of the academy and that what happens outside of the academy is certainly influencing what's inside of the academy. And all this is really to say is that the binary itself between inside and outside is completely arbitrary and frankly, uh, I guess what one could say just plain ridiculous, right? That, that uh, to, to, to continue to shore up this difference between inside and outside of the academy does nothing more than kind of stifle dialogue and also shut off the potential of engaging in larger discourse and also showing those who are quote outside of the academy that the work we do has no impact in their lives and it certainly does. Uh, and so I guess this kind of takes us uh, or takes me into uh, the third point and that's that I would really like for this channel to show other people what it looks like to lead a critical life uh, in the performance of every day. And, and this would be certainly a, a key component of this channel, is what it means to live and lead a critical life. Uh, that doesn't mean just from an academic perspective, but that means from a lot of different perspectives. Uh, and that means a, vari a variety of ways of, of leading and living a critical life. Uh, and the various ways that we lead critical lives, not even knowing that maybe that's what it might be considered. And this is certainly a, 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 a dynamic of even teaching public speaking is teaching students how to engage the world more critically uh, through communication because that is where my training specifically comes from. Uh, now the the fourth of the goals is kind of connected throughout at this point and that is to bring different parts of our discipline and dialogue with one another around central topics. 
Now, I'm not seeking here, of course, uh, for those of you inside of the communication discipline to bridge all paradigmatic tensions or, or what have you, but rather to show that various parts and differences throughout the discipline itself have opinions about these topics that sometimes we want to feel ownership over. When, while ownership is necessary because it allows us a space to really do and engage in certain specialized research, we can also gather and gain really wonderful insight from different people throughout the discipline. Uh, and instead of being afraid of different perspectives within the discipline, really learning to embrace that stuff. And so uh, this is where I kind of want to start the dialogue. And I'm hoping that the other contributors this week, and I, I know that they will, will offer uh, different perspectives and how it is that they also use media, produce media, consume media, what have you. This takes me to the last part of my video contribution this week. And this is actually going to be a link whoop, right here to another video from the past uh, on this channel channel that I uploaded that deals with um, or some, some initial observations that I felt and saw in X-Men First Class. That is specifically how racism was produced and reified in the film. Uh, please take a look at that video because uh, really what that film is getting at is a key component of what I believe is important to being a a, a part of culture and how it is that we consume culture. And I don't want to say that uh, that, that, that it's so as simple as being an active or passive consumer of culture. But in, in many ways, that is ultimately what it comes down to in my mind, is that when we are engaged in cultural practices, be it film, be it what have you, no matter what it is, we can either, we kind of are, are, are given a choice, um, whether or not we know it. And that's to really just kind of uh, allow that, that piece of media to kind of seep into us, uh, for it to just take its toll on our bodies and our minds. Uh, or to to engage the constant critical perspective, which is to allow that to come at you, but then to process it and really ask some of the key reflexive questions about what it is that's taking place in this this cultural artifact. Uh, and I think that that's very important. And I'm hoping that it, the gist of this channel kind of teaches us and provides some of the tools and the various ways that we can approach life uh, from this critical perspective. Um, well, I guess that being said, that's the end of my contribution this week. I certainly look forward to the other contributors. And for those of you out there watching, you are welcome to join the channel. Please engage, subscribe, and be a part of Critical Praxis. Peace to you all. Take care.